Okay, welcome back. So in this step, I'll show you how to connect an email account so that you can use the platform to send outgoing emails. Uh, but basically the way it's done, you start here in the dashboard and go up to the upper right hand corner to access the settings. And next you wanna go for the email tab. Uh, we offer three different ways to connect one of your email accounts. Probably the simplest one is uh, if you use a G Suite account is to use the Gmail API setup, uh, in which case you just hit this configure button and then you'll click the get Google API button and it will bring up a pop-up from Google which allows you to connect one of your accounts depending on what you're logged in as. So if you've, like me, got multiple accounts, you know, you can choose from them in the list. Um, why not? And then hit the allow button. Uh, now Google at any time can change their API and they have been recently uh, experimenting and changing things. So this option might change in the future next time you see it. Um, so that's why we offer other uh, alternative ways of, of connecting your email address. As I said, this first one is probably the simplest if you're a G Suite account user. Um, but uh, if you aren't, you can also use SMTP setup, which similarly you press the configure button and then we have some pull downs. Here's a, a pre-filled in. You can see if you're using a Google account, they tend to, to follow this format but you'll want to check the specific settings with whatever your host, whatever your pro email provider is to find out what these port numbers are and such. Enter in your email address and the password associated. Um, but we also have pre-configured here if you use SendGrid, these are the forms, the, the fields that, that SendGrid is looking for um, or any other SMTP account uh, that you might have. Um, if uh, this is the, the method you're using, then after you've configured it, you'll then want to activate it with this little switch here, and now you're ready to go. Or conversely, if you were to use this first method, method that I showed you, there I just deconfigured it, or, dis de or inactivated it. <laughs> if I were to use uh, this first method I showed you a moment ago, um, after connecting, then um, go ahead, I'll allow that success now you want to activate that as well you can only have one email address at a time configured with the platform and then the uh, the third method uh, we have here is with postmark if you have an account with them then you only need two fields you know, you'd log into your postmark account and you'd want to get the API token and a postmark server token you'd copy and paste those two into these fields save it and then likewise activate it and now you're all set to go. You can send emails from the platform.